Good evening, everyone, and welcome to uh, Northeastern High School uh, for our first uh, Kate, or excuse me, first, second, and third grade concert uh, in a bunch of years. Uh, in fact, uh, this morning, uh, as we were talking about the concert, uh, we were discussing the fact that these kids have actually never been on stage uh, for a concert, even though we do concerts starting at kindergarten already, uh, just from how timing worked uh, with COVID and the shutdown. Uh, so it is super, super exciting for these kiddos to have their first concert, and I assure you, you are going to get a wonderful show out of them this evening. It was also interesting this morning when we had our practice, uh, because of the rain, uh, we put kids on buses to bring them up, even though we had planned on uh, initially walking up. And I had never uh, put uh, one and two together to think of the fact that some of our kids had never been on a school bus either uh, because of not going on any field trips yet. So uh, we had a number of kids who were so excited to go for their first bus ride, uh, even though it was only about three minutes uh, from Orndorf to here. Uh, but it was definitely fun to see that excitement. Uh, but again, uh, welcome to Northeastern High School. Uh, it's kind of fun that we have our uh, concerts here because I promise you parents, it really will not be that long until your uh, kiddos are actual students here. Uh, the time definitely goes by quickly. Uh, the kids tonight, uh, we are gonna start with our orchestra and then we'll have poetry troupe and then we will end with our massive group of second and third grade singers. Uh, and again, I promise you a wonderful show this evening. Uh, if you can make sure at this time that you have your cell phones either on vibrate or uh, silenced at least, uh, so that we don't have any disruptions there. Also, we ask that if you have any unruly kiddos during the show or unruly spouses, anything like that, uh, if you don't mind just stepping to the back of the auditorium uh, so that we're not distracting from our performers up here. y bienvenidos a nuestro concierto navideño un par de cositas los celulares necesito que le bajen el volumen y si tienen niños que empiezan a llorar pueden salirse al pasillo para que no des, des, para que no se arruine el show ok all right thank you and enjoy the show everyone and we'll start with mr nackley and the orchestra Good evening, everybody. My name is James Knackley, and I am the elementary orchestra teacher at Northeastern School District. Um, this is our first live third grade performance of all of the district, um, and the first one in many years, which is very exciting um, due to the shutdown and virtual concerts before. So we're very excited to have your children's first orchestra concert be live. Um, the orchestra students have worked very hard and you'll see that um, some of the things that they demonstrate tonight are um, proper concert etiquette. You see they're all standing up very nicely um, and professionally up on the stage, very nice. And you'll also see them hold their instruments with proper posture and listening to recording tracks from the sound booth um, that have taught them how to work on keeping a steady tempo, steady beat, um, and how to learn some of the notes on their instruments. Um, in only two and a half months, which is really impressive. They've worked really hard, um, and, and I'm very proud of them. So we'll start with our first two songs called Let's Play Open D and Let's Play Open A.
in the sound booth. Can we do that one again? That one again, one more time. This is number three. Let's play open it. Okay, number three. The next song is song number uh, six in their book. It's called Jumping Jacks. And in this song, they learned about um, music notation, um, repeat signs and double bar lines, and a few other symbols in their books. This is number six, Jumping Jacks. The next couple of songs involve um, some new technique that they learned, and they learned how to place their left hand fingers on the tapes on the instrument, on the fingerboard up at the, at the top, in order to change the different notes on the instrument. And so the next two songs will be Let's Read G and Let's Read F Sharp. The next two songs are going to combine both of those notes and you'll see that the, the students are lifting and placing their fingers back and down on the strings. Um, maybe, it's a little hard to see up to the front. 
Um, and the first one is called Lift Off, and the second one is called On the Trail. two more songs for you. Um, the next one is called um, Let's Read E, and E is a note on the string instruments that actually all of the students play the same way. They all put their pointer finger on the instrument and it all makes the same sound of E. And then the last song is uh, called the Essential Elements Quiz, which prepares them to start um, learning Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, within the rest of this marking period and next marking period. And again, that's the Essential Elements Quiz. have one more uh, round of applause for our third graders first performances <laughs> their next performance will be um, in March we have an annual um, pops concert every March for the orchestra program it's called rock in the strings and you'll see some pop music um, from grades 3 all the way to the high school grade 12 uh, string players participate in this concert. 
Um, and so additional information will be coming shortly with uh, uh, details about that concert. Um, as we exit the stage, um, we'll just have a brief intermission before the poetry troupe starts.
They're waving, so please wave back. Okay. Stop. All right, ready? All right, good evening. Um, welcome. My name is Kelly Myers. For those of you who do not know me, I am the librarian at Orndorf and Mount Wolf. You see students behind me. These are our Poetry Troop members. Poetry Troop, um, we did a while ago, and the last couple years we've had COVID, we haven't been able to do it. So I really wanted to bring it back this year. And what happens is they come one recess a week, a cycle, to be with me, and we do poems, and we do rhythms and dancing. We just have a really good time. It almost didn't happen at Orndorf because my schedule has changed. So when I normally meet with them would be lunch recess. At Orndorf, I'm there three days a cycle. And when I'm there at lunch recess for second and third grade, I'm teaching. Imagine that. So I thought, oh, I really want to do this. So I talked to Mr. Moyer. He graciously allowed me to do the PBIS recess in the afternoon, which is 15 minutes. And I have to tell you something, these guys are rocking it. They have met with me four times for 15 minutes, four times, and they're awesome. I'm so proud of them, and I know you're gonna be as proud of them as well. Also, Hadley, I promised I wouldn't embarrass her, Hadley Sowers' name is not in the program because um, two cycles into our practicing, Hadley decided she wanted to join Poetry Troop. And I had already sent the names out to be published in our program. And I said to her, is that okay? And she said, yeah. She said, I know the poems. My brother says them at home all the time. So she said, I want to join. And I was like, absolutely. So we're glad she joined. I don't want to embarrass her anymore. And here we go.
Okay, folks, we are ready to get started with our second and third grade uh, chorus part here. Now, something I want you to think about as you watch this up here, think of how difficult sometimes it is to get one kid or two kids, three kids ready to go somewhere, or in the car, or at the dinner table. Then think about 200. So, uh, this, needless to say, this is quite an experience getting these kids ready for you. I think you're going to be absolutely amazed with what you see that Mr. Rouse accomplished with them, as well as the second and third grade teachers. Uh, one other announcement, super important, at the end, we are going to give dismissal instructions. Please do not stand up and start walking out uh, before we have the kids out of here. We want to make sure that we get all kids back with the right adults at the end. So again, wait at the end until we give those dismissal instructions. Just to make sure we get kids home safely. Okay, Mr. Ralph. Let's see what 
the reindeer are doing because I know for sure that they're not wasting time dancing, right, reindeer? I guess we'll see. <laughs>
you can do. Go in, come on up, let's go. I'm talking about the big guy. Well, now that you say that, I don't think I have seen him. Why? <laughs> He's still trying to lose those cookie calories from last year. <laughs> <laughs> I will handle this. Thank goodness. <laughs>
And now we have time for a Christmas fiesta! Yes! One more giant round of applause for our directors and our teachers for all their hard work with this. And more importantly, one more giant round of applause for our amazing young musicians here. Great job, guys. Okay, parents, here is where the challenge is for you now. I am really hoping to get to tell the kids tomorrow, I know how you guys are all such great listeners because your parents are all such great listeners. So 
please, 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 uh, from a safety standpoint, if I can have all people stay in the auditorium here until we have all the kids out, then what we will do is we will have our second and third graders uh, get picked up. And actually, orchestra's getting picked up in the orchestra room, right? Yes. Okay. Orchestra or strings players, you will pick them up in the string room, just where you uh, dropped them off in the orchestra room. The second and grade thir uh, chorus kids will get picked up in the cafeteria. They will need somebody to sign them out. So there will be, need to be an adult there to sign them out. I ask that you only send one person down there. That will help a lot with the traffic jam. So if only one person can go and sign them out. So third grade, you can start heading down there. And again, parents, if you can hang tight here. Okay, if you keep the center aisle clear here as our second graders are coming up through. Come on, guys. Parents, we give them one more minute. Kids know you all ended your day on orange. You did a beautiful job. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> Thank you.